I get questions from people sometimes wondering how I've become proficient at Linux or asking me what the best way to learn Linux is or the best way to get good at it. And the obvious answer is, of course, my YouTube channel. But first, I want to address the whole idea of learning how to learn because it seems to come up a lot in the IT, computer science, and tech world at large. People wondering, what is the best way to learn how to do a thing before they actually go and start doing the thing? And people spending hours and hours researching the best way to learn whatever skill they're looking to learn. And this is really the result of having so many choices to get into these skills. You've got my YouTube channel and thousands of other less awesome tech channels. You can go to university, you can get certifications, you can go to a coding boot camp, learn on the job as an intern, or just research whatever topic you're interested in online or get books at a library on it. The best resource to use is going to be up to you, but as a general rule of thumb, I'd recommend just using whatever you already have, whatever is the most accessible to you. So if you want to get good at Linux, then the terminal is really what you're going to want to focus on. Because the new beer distros like Mint and Ubuntu, they have these nice little GUI programs that emulate things like the control panel that we'd find in Windows. And with these GUIs, you can do most things that a basic user would do, like install software, change the color scheme, or change some sound settings. But the problem with these is that they're very inconsistent those little GUI menus are going to change from distro to distro. In fact, the layout of these settings will change based on whatever desktop environment you're using. So if you wanted to do something slightly more advanced, like change your desktop environment, and you're not familiar with the terminal, then you're going to have a bad time when you realize everything is located in a new spot in that little GUI menu. So Let's be a real man and learn the terminal. And I say be a real man because man is the command that we're going to use to achieve that. So if you prepend the man command before another Linux command, like say ls, you get this nice manual page that opens up. And this is pretty much a more verbose version of the help switch that is also a present option in most different commands. And this gives you a lot more information. So if you really wanted to get into the nitty gritty of what a command does, then man is what you're looking for. And this is by far the most accessible option. You don't even need an internet connection to use the man command. These pages are pre-installed locally on your PC. Well, not pre-installed, but they come with whatever program that you install, whether you emerge it or use apt-get or whatever. So if you find yourself stuck debugging a shell script or you're just not feeling very confident in your knowledge about a command, try reading its man page first before you spend hours Googling and reading forum posts or just wondering how to get better at Linux in general. Once you've read the man pages for the most common commands that you use, you'll be feeling a lot more confident in your Linux abilities.